What's going on guys, Get you with you throw here with more Grand Theft Auto 5 and today what I want to talk to you guys about is the potential release date for Grand Theft Auto 6. Now this information is actually from a very reliable source and I know what you're thinking, I say this in all my videos whenever I talk about Grand Theft Auto 6. I know it's early to talk about and I know that a lot of you guys are thinking why the hell are you talking about Grand Theft Auto 6 when 5 just came out and it's probably at least a few years away, who knows how many though. Well anyways this information is actually pretty legitimate, this isn't a rumor, this isn't me speculating, this is actually coming from the the CEO of Take-Two Interactive. Now, if you guys don't know who that is, Take-Two Interactive, I believe, is the distributor of uh, games like Grand Theft Auto. They're basically the parent company of Rockstar. And that is why when you hear news about Grand Theft Auto, you're oftentimes hearing it from people at Take-Two Interactive. So anyways, I'm done rambling. Now what I want to talk about, like I said, is the potential release date of Grand Theft Auto 6. Now, I don't have it pinned down to an exact day, but we can actually get an idea for the year that it will be coming out. So anyways, uh, I'm going by an article that is linked in the description below, and it actually kind of answers our question. Will Grand Theft Auto 6 be coming out sooner than expected? Well, your answer, uh, it, it's, it's no. It's just flat out no. As of now, the CEO of Take-Two Interactive said that they have no plans to increase the number of Grand Theft Auto games it releases. So that right off the bat tells you that they're not going to be trying to put out more of them, they're not going to be trying to make them faster, and it really actually tells us they're content with releasing a new Grand Theft Auto game every five years. So you might be asking yourself, okay, why would they not want to make more of these games? They made over a billion dollars on Grand Theft Auto 5, wouldn't it be in their best interest to make, uh, you know, a new game every year or two? Well, basically, here's what they explained. They're actually making so much money off of their digital purchases that they don't need to make games every year or two. They can wait five years, and it doesn't hurt them. These digital purchases that I'm talking about are the shark cards and things like DLC. Now, if you're not familiar with the shark cards, those are just when you buy Grand Theft Auto online money <coughs> for your real-life money. So they get your real-life 20 bucks, you get a million dollars in GTA money, and everybody's happy. So, they said that a great, great portion of their um, revenue lately has actually been from those digital purchases. To quote the article directly, it says, With Grand Theft Auto V, we have sold 32.5 units to date, which is extraordinary. And then they go on to say that 70% of people that have played Grand Theft Auto V while online have played GTA Online, which is a free-to-play experience. And recurrent consumer spending, which includes GTA Online revenue, represented nearly half of our digitally delivered revenue in the quarter. So people are voting that they want to stay engaged and they're voting with their wallets. Um, well, <laughs> the way the guy worded that, he said that we were voting with our wallets, it, it kind of makes me feel like more of a, a number to them. Like, I, I'm more of a dollar bill to them than I am a, a customer and somebody who really loves their franchise and somebody who promotes it. Um, he really makes us sound like we're all just kind of like wads of money jumping around, which I guess to them we are, whatever. Um, I guess as a multi-million dollar company, in the end, they probably are out to make money. So, having said all of that, that pretty much summarizes it. They have no plan to vamp up the number of Grand Theft Autos that they produce. Having said that, that means that uh, it was a five-year wait in between Grand Theft Auto 4 and Grand Theft Auto 5. The wait's been actually getting a little bit longer, too, with each uh, installment of Grand Theft Auto. Um, so that basically means that, uh, the earliest we could probably expect to see Grand Theft Auto 6 is probably around the year 2018. Um, wow. It sounds like it's forever away, and, uh, it's, it's just five years, and it'll probably be here before you know it, and then you'll look back and say, wow, I remember when Grand Theft Auto 5 was just coming out. But as of now, uh, don't get excited. Maybe it could be as late as 2019. Maybe as early as 2017. Who knows? But either way, we've got quite a, quite a wait, so don't be hoping that, uh, Rockstar is gonna surprise us and come out with Grand Theft Auto 6 much sooner than expected, because, unfortunately, it is not going to happen. So with that guys, please as always tell me what you think in the comments below and uh, with that please stay tuned for more videos in the future and I will see you next time.